All right, so we got a bunch of derivatives we're going to do involving sine and cosine. I'll have a separate video doing uh, the rest of the trig functions, tangent, secant, cotangent, and cosecant. But first, let's look at this. You've got to know uh, the derivative of sine and cosine. Uh, now the way I have it written here, uh, let's just let's just look at this. The derivative of just sine x with respect to x is cosine x, and the derivative of cosine x with respect to x is negative sine x. Okay. So what I have here is I've got u. U is just like is a function like x squared or uh, x minus 3 or whatever it may be. Okay, So what this is saying is the derivative of sine is cosine, but then you've got to multiply it times the derivative of what you're taking the sine of. That's what the du dx is. And the same thing here, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, but then it's times the derivative of what you're taking the cosine of. Okay. But now if you just have an x, then it's just cosine x. If you have just an x here for cosine, it's just negative sine. All right, so the examples that I'm going to work are, I've got nine examples. I'll work all of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This probably be a long video. Let's go ahead and get to the first one. All right, so here we've got y equals sine 2x. So the derivative, let's see, let's do it in a different color, maybe green. All right, so we've got y prime. Well, the sine of, I mean, the derivative of sine is cosine. So that's just cosine 2x. But look, this is 2x, so it's times the derivative of 2x which is 2 and so I get y prime is 2 cosine 2x alright let's look at the next one alright so here we got y equals 2 sine x squared so y prime is equal to 2 cosine x squared because the derivative of sine is cosine but then it's times the derivative of what I'm taking the sine of. So I'm taking the sine of x squared, so the derivative of x squared is 2x. And then it's y prime is equal to 4x cosine x squared. Okay, So it's real simple. The derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of cosine is negative sine. But then you have to multiply that times the derivative of what you're, whatever you're taking the sine or cosine of. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Now, this one is sine squared x. Now, what I'm going to do before I take the derivative is I'm going to rewrite this as sine x all of that squared. That's what that means, okay? See, this is different than this this the x is squared here it's sine squared x but instead of putting parentheses and putting the squared out here we just write the squared there okay so this goes back to the chain rule remember when you had uh, maybe if you had something like y equals I don't know say x squared plus 3x all to the fourth something like that and you did the chain rule, so y prime was 4 times x squared minus 3x, and then you would subtract 1 from the exponent, and then it was times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. Okay, that. Well, that's the same thing that we're doing here. It's, see, inside the parentheses here, I have x squared plus 3x, but inside the parentheses here, I've got sine x. Okay, so the derivative the 2 comes down so that's 2 sine x and then I subtract 1 from the exponent so that is to the first power right 
but we don't write that we don't write it like that it's understood to be a 1 so that's just the same thing as sine x okay but then okay so I brought the 2 down subtracted 1 from the exponent then it's times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses here so what do we have inside the parentheses sine x and the derivative of sine is cosine all right and so this would give us y prime is equal to sine 2x so you might wonder well, where are you getting that from well remember this is a double angle identity for sine so if you go back to your trig look up double angle identity for sine and you'll see that the sine of I don't know let's just use 2 alpha is equal to 2 sine alpha cosine alpha so that's all I did I just went from this to this all right let's look at 4 all right so once again let's just go ahead and rewrite this y equals 2 okay let's not rewrite it okay we rewrote it up here we put the exponent out here let's just what you've got to do though is picture this as being all raised to the third you've got to picture this inside the parentheses raised to the third that's what that cube right there means okay so let's see if we can get it without rewriting it all right so I get y prime all right, so the 3 comes down, so that's 6. Subtract 1 from the exponent, squared, 2x to the 4th, okay? And then remember, this, this, this here is y equals 2 sine 2x to the 4th cubed. So I brought the 3 down, subtracted 1 from the exponent, but then it's times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. So if you can see that, this is inside the parentheses. So now I've got to times the derivative of this. Okay. So the derivative of this is what? Cosine 2x to the fourth times the derivative of what I'm taking the sine of. So times the derivative of 2x to the 4th. So that's going to be what? 8x cubed. All right. And then we can simplify this. So I get y prime. Let's see, 8 times 6. That's 48x cubed sine squared 2x to the 4th cosine 2x to the 4th. And this would be your answer. Okay. All right, let's look at number five. I don't know why that's a two there. That should be a y. All right, so now let's take the derivative of this. This is cosine one minus x. All right, so y prime. Well, what's the derivative of cosine? The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay, but then times the derivative of what I'm taking the cosine of. Well, what's the derivative of 1 minus x? Well, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative minus x is negative 1. And so I get y prime. Well, that's going to make it positive sine 1 minus x. All right. All right, let's take a look at this one. All right, so remember, tr try not to make it to where you have to rewrite it just remember this is 4 cosine square root of x and all of that squared so we got chain rule we got this in parentheses so the 2 comes down subtract 1 from the exponent okay so I've got y prime so the 2 comes down that's 4 cosine square root of x subtract one see the two comes down subtract one from the exponent so now that's an exponent of one but then it's times the derivative 
of what's inside the parentheses here. Okay. Well, what's the derivative of cosine? The derivative of cosine is negative sine, right, square root of x, times the derivative of what I'm taking the cosine of. Well, what's the derivative of square root of x? Now, there's a shortcut to taking the derivative of a square root. I have a video on it, so you, you can go check that out. It's, it's called uh, Shortcut for Finding the Derivative of a Square Root Function. So check that out. But just real quick, the shortcut is whenever you're taking the derivative of a square root, it's going to be a fraction and you put two times whatever the radical is in the denominator and then you look underneath the radical what's the derivative of x one and that's how you do it or you could go ahead and change it to x to the one half and use the power rule but the shortcuts a lot quicker so check that video out it'll it'll save you a lot of time when you're doing derivatives of square roots all right, so now we've got y prime, and so let's see, that's going to be negative 2 over square root of x, cosine square root of x, sine square root of x, and there's your answer. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. All right. So here we've got what? We've got the product rule. So let's see what we have here. So we've got y prime. All right, so the product rule, I do the derivative of the first. Okay, remember if you have, if you're taking the derivative, if you're taking the derivative of, let's see, uh, let's just do f times g. Okay, you're taking the derivative of a product. Remember, that's the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function times the first function. I know some books might write it different. I just do it like this. It's To me, it's easiest. Just derivative of first times second plus derivative of the second times the first. All right. So I've got the derivative of the first function. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So that's 6 cosine x, okay, so that's the derivative of the first, times the second, so cosine 4x, plus the derivative of the second function, so the derivative of the second function, I'll go ahead and write the 6 down, it, 6 doesn't matter, it just kind of tags along, so the derivative of cosine is negative sine, okay, times the derivative of what you're taking the cosine of, so times 4. Okay, so so this, this part here, that's the derivative of the second function. Okay, all right, and then times the first function, so times sine x. And so now that's going to give me y prime is 6 cosine x cosine 4x and that is going to be minus 24 sine well, I will just go ahead and write sine x sine 4x and it don't matter if you write 4x and then x it's the same thing that kind of looks like a k and then well don't think there's really anything else we could do with it uh, I think that would be good enough just leaving it like that all right, so let's look at this one. We're almost done. We've got two more to do. All right, so here we've got what? We've got the quotient rule. Okay, so I've got y prime. All right, so remember the quotient rule. If you're taking the derivative of a quotient, okay, remember that is what? The derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator times the numerator all over the denominator squared. Okay, so that's the formula for the quotient rule. So let's go ahead and do this. So I've got the derivative of the numerator. 
Well, we got cosine, so the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I've got 2 times negative sine x squared times the derivative of what I'm taking the cosine of. So times 2x. Okay, so this is the derivative. This is the derivative of the numerator times the denominator times 3x minus 1. Let me get this out of the way. And then it's minus the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of the denominator is 3 times the numerator. And this is all over the denominator squared. And then as far as simplifying this thing, let's see what we can do. So y prime, let's see I got 2x and negative, so that's going to be negative 4x. Uh, and then I guess we can write 3x minus 1 sine x squared minus 6 cosine x squared over 3x minus 1 squared. And then, I mean, as far as simplifying this, there's some things you could do. You could distribute this and have negative 12x squared plus 4x times this. Or you can distribute this and the sine x squared. Okay, But I mean, for this video, let's just leave it like this. I think the main part is taking the derivative of the trig functions and applying that quotient rule. So I think you'll be good on that. Okay, and, and hopefully I haven't made any careless arithmetic mistakes. You know, you know how that happens sometimes. But all right, so let's look at this one. All right, so this one looks, uh, no, this one looks like a mess. Uh, so let's see what we got. We got y prime. So it's the derivative of the numerator. So remember, this this numerator, that is cosine 3x, all of that squared. So I'm gonna, I've got chain rule there. So I've got two cosine 3x, and then subtract one from the exponent, so that leaves me with the one times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. So remember, this is this. So it's times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. So we got to take the derivative of cosine 3x. All right. So that's going to be times negative sine 3x times the derivative of what you're taking the cosine of. So times 3. So look at that. All that is, that's the derivative of the numerator. And then that's times the denominator. Okay. Well, guess what we've got now? Now it's minus the derivative of the denominator. So let's do that. Well, the derivative of 1, that's 0. Okay. So, we got to take the derivative of this. So remember, this part right here, that's what? That's the same thing as sine 2x, all of that squared. So we got another chain rule. And you see, all you got to do is apply the rules that you know. Okay? So the 2 comes down. So that's going to be 4 sine 2x subtract 1 from the exponent, so that's going to be the 1 there, and then it's times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. So see, now i got to times the derivative of this. All right. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine, so that's cosine 2x, times the derivative of what you're taking the sine of, so times 2. And then all of this, see, this is just the derivative of the denominator. And then that's derivative of the, den of the denominator times the numerator. 
So let's see, I'm, I don't think I can squeeze that in there. So let's see, cosine squared 3x. Okay, and that's all over the denominator squared. And man, this will be fun to simplify, won't it? So let's see if I can do this uh, without making a stupid mistake somewhere. This all gets bunched up. So let's see, we got the 2, the negative, and the 3. So that's going to be negative 6. And then we'll do cosine 3x sine 3x times 1 plus 2 sine squared 2x minus and then here we got a 4 a 2x and a 2 no yeah no 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 I'm sorry that's not a 2x we got a 4 and a 2 so it looks like that's going to be negative 8 and then we've got sine 2x cosine 2x cosine squared 3x all right and then that's 1 plus 2 sine squared 2x squared all right so hopefully I didn't misread something or make some careless mistake somewhere but but hopefully you know even if I did you know multiplied something I split and you know because I just didn't see it right the the main thing is this part you know the quotient rule and doing the derivatives of the trig functions okay so I think leaving it like that would be good enough uh, I don't really see much else you could do with it uh, but yeah there you go so you know this is a long video uh, check out the other video on the all the other derivatives of the other trig functions and hopefully this helped uh, Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.